Hello, my fellow YouTubers. This is Roy back again. Right now, we're working on the PMH, one of them, and how they're going to be set up. And I got these coils I wound, and these are my Mobius coils. And the way these are intertwined, what it does, it causes a nodal point in the middle where they crisscross and it causes the energy to change from one pole to the other through that nodal point it stays in the wire but comes across and it becomes a uh, north then it comes around this way gets to the nodal point then it changes to be a south on this side and um, pretty interesting things because this is going to be hooked up to um, one side of uh, this PMH and one side of this PMH. And this PMH and that PMH will be the producers of the scalar wave. And um, these will be having um, in phase same frequency banging each side of one of these wires which will in itself is how you make a scalar wave but also in in this setup as a Mobius coil is a is a figure eight is also how you make a Mobius coil. It's two different ways. But well we're gonna take a pulse DC. So when you turn edge wheel, the frequency starting from a magnet will increase into the PMH. The PMH one, uh, the wheel will pull itself to the iron on the PMH. So it's not the PMHs um, being loaded up with, um, um, with a battery. It'll be that the wheel itself will have a coil in the middle and will be more like a stator. And, um, it will be pulsing out um, from the inside a magnetic blast. And um, uh, when that magnetic blast pulses on the inside, uh, it would also be set up uh, as a hub. It has one of these hubs down and it's, um, I have done experiments to where I found out that the Mobius coil is what we're looking for for the um, concentration to, to have that absorption contraction um, in the middle there. And uh, when we have expansion, it'll be in a magnetic wave um, coming out of these magnets, which will all be uh, wired up to make them stronger, like gorilla strength. And, and so the magnetic field uh, will be going backwards um, on the internal towards the, the coil, the Mobius coil here, and the wires that will be causing these magnets to get stronger to pull themselves so there's motion on the wheel, can be uh, adjusted speed, uh, no problem, but this will also cause a back EMF or magnetic field on these coils. These coils will be hooked up uh, where one is south, one is north. So um, the uh, motor action or back EMF um, will be absorbed from the iron through these aluminum cores. And um, one of these coils will have matching pair here, but one of these coils will be going to um, one leg of the PMH, while the other one will be going to one leg, and the vice versa. Um, 
Uh, we're gonna be using these coils, uh, not as Mobius coils, but as capacitors, because I wanna show you guys um, when you work through the system, um, uh, the draw of these, like right now, are on. And let me, let me get a little bit less wire here somehow and see if we could see what's going to happen here. So you can see we have a lot of um, motion. You can see on this coil, you can see the poles on the bottom of that magnet and the coil itself are the same because it's pushing the magnet away from it. When it gets to this coil, it draws it in. So you can see how the energy, which is fascinating, Think about this. We're talking, this is an explanation of how the energy is really just one energy. It's not positive and negative. It's, we create this dipole with it, but um, so we can uh, um, separate it and concentrate it. So in a battery, just coming out north, coming out south, positive, negative, and these are just on not even getting warm, just 12 volts. And here you can see in the nodal point, we'll keep that there when I start talking, we'll get to a place to where it will start to move. I wanna hold you guys up here real quick. On this, no, I guess that ain't happening. Um, gonna hold you down for a second. I, I need to take some of that slack out of there. It's a little tight for a second. So yeah, I've been doing a lot of the short vids, just doing a lot of short experiments, thinking about starting a club membership and we would do the longer videos and the club membership, which to me just makes a lot more sense because some people just like to flip through stuff. Like it's sure if they're interested, they can always get a little taste of the club. They can join the club membership. I don't know what's, what it will all be about, but I'll figure it out. To me, it just seems like uh, I want to have people interested that are interested. So let me get a little more pull down with this. I don't want to break it though. So let me throw this around here like this. Let's just watch what the energy does. You can see the action on the coils. Now just remember this. If this wasn't Mobius coils and you just had um, it plugged into here. The wires are most likely get real hot. And uh, I, I believe you would just get one action instead of what we're seeing here is like a figure eight. And we're seeing a pole change with a nodal point in the middle. And there's some unique stuff that we can talk about with aluminum, what we can do with the nodal point and how we can possibly pull electrons out of the nodal point with some some blades of aluminum going down the uh, nodals. Just some experiments we'll do there. Leave your comments. Let me know what you think about. Uh, we'll start the the Vinnie St. Vincent uh, personal channel, and we'll have our club members only. And um, we're going to include some where we can have open conversation. To where we can get some conversations started because I just would like to it to be a little bit more where I hear back from people not so much through comments which leave your comments let me know what you think you can see right now that um, you know, there's no heat now just think now when this is going you know this thing will um, more so be dynamic because here it is the 12 volt battery and right now, let me see if I can do this. So right now, I'm gonna slide this over that way. 
by moving this over. All right. There we go. All right, so there's no magnetic field on the bottles right now, but I want the magnet to be more on this side. Now, I'm going to go ahead and connect. I'm going to let you watch and see what happens when I make the connection. Here it is. So look, it pulled it over to this bottle. Remember this one um, opposing and this one's attracting. And now you can see the movement in the magnet. You know, it's going to start to take off and start doing its spin thing. So you can see the fields. Uh, one more thing. I'd like to see if it's possible. Is over here I got some magnetic strip. I wonder, which I don't think, but I wonder if we would see anything here. I got two of them actually. You see there's dark lines on them. That would be the magnetic field. See how it's opposing over here and attracting on this side. You look at the dark lines, that would be the magnetic field. A little hard. Maybe it would be better at nighttime. Let me get a little bit more stretchy out of this, the closer I get it. Yeah, pretty interesting. I'll have to figure out how to really make that work for us. Let me give this thing a little like so it's off now. And we're gonna pulse it a little bit. I can do this, right? And watch the watch when I pulse it. You can see the magnet start shaking and I'm pulsing it right now. So this would be the wheel basically giving a look at that. Look at that. It's just me pulsing it. Now I got it on there steady. So now we'll see, find its momentum. Now remember, this is unique. These Mobius coils, standing waves, scalar waves, the waves that penetrate through everything. They travel through the whole galaxy, the, all the universe, through all the galaxies. I'm pretty sure if I just give it spinning, it's just going to take off. All right, you guys, leave your comments. Um, yep. Just stay tuned. There's a lot going to be going on. Be focused on the inside here. And uh, one thing I didn't mention is we're going to be using uh, uh, glass bottles for uh, for vibrating chambers and the vibrating chamber that's inside here um, will pre produce sound 
and um, we'll talk about at least Gowan with sound. Leave your comments, and um, he was producing sound, sound for a lot of things. Why do you think he was producing sound? And he was making them out of these coils. So we'll be introducing the cone coils and uh, the DC pulse into a sound chamber and we'll look at uh, what sound can do leave your comments do you think it can levitate can it uh, disintegrate rock or material at a certain frequency as you change the frequency pretty sure it can go through any spectrum of its birth to its demise and turned into a different source of energy. So anyway, leave your comments. Hopefully you enjoy this. I am still pounding away over here on my beer bottle capacitors, my 15,000 volt um, NST. I just blew it up. So it can't take, they can't take what I throw at it. Got a new coil set up. The coil, primary, secondary, and yeah, out of bang. Shout out to everybody. Peace, love, Jimi Hendrix. Um, the reason I'm bouncing into the high pressure electrostatics because it falls in line with what Ed had here. Um, some people think back then Ed didn't have high voltage capabilities, uh, but he did because uh, these are, I made this, this is um, a coil with a, in the front I should say Ford. Uh, these are buzz coils that were on the Model T Fords in the beginning, and they were um, what allowed the spark, like the coil, like a variable co coil, and you would turn the box, turn it, and it would make it go faster or slower. And um, you can produce high voltages or straight from 12 volts. So with that being said, we can, uh, we're gonna do the same thing here because that has everything that's up on his wall that he left all in pieces. And I see the buzz coil up there as well. And uh, we'll incorporate that. So, uh, you know, we're gonna be setting up the system. Uh, but one thing I never discussed with anybody in the ex experiments of me putting a cylinder coil in here and every time it was hit, it produced a, a, a larger magnetic field at the top of the shaft and the bottom. Um, it didn't um, uh, get the effects that I wanted. But as I worked through the process here in years, I realized the Mobius coil is... Um, the scalar wave and uh, the whole process here is using earth ground with these uh, iron poles. I got three of them and using uh, this uh, handle as a spark gap. So every time this handle will go past the ground, it would uh, make its um, major big um, uh, pressure wave and then it would have um, uh, a big release because there's there's a couple things going on here with the 90 degree angle of uh, the difference between electricity and mag magnets and um, uh, there's a lot of iron uh, in here and there's a lot of stored up energy so to be able to release it is something that um, I've been working on is the iron itself and uh, uh, soft iron is so permeable, and once it has uh, um, reached its permeability, you're able to um, shoot around the outside, and that's why I like uh, introducing sound into Ed's work because I know he was doing that, and sound is a, a is a massive way of producing energy, um, pretty much from the system itself. Uh, not so much the, the, the weak magnets or anything else, but when you introduce sound and you have everything hooked up, pro do proper, 
um, which I will show, and you can scale it up and uh, pretty much uh, you're, you're able to uh, uh, move electrons from the nitrogen into the uh, uh, um, uh, into the uh, water molecules of, of uh, H2O. You're able to turn it into H, HO3, and because of the high electrostatic field in the plates that we're going to design out of certain materials that uh, will uh, allow that field to be super conductive in, in the chamber on itself. And we'll be using these glass bottles for a couple multiple purposes, such as the Mo Mobius coil. We'll be drilling some holes on the top of here and we will be setting up a magnetic uh, contacts. So when there's a, a magnetic field present, uh, it would make the contact. When the contact is made, it will uh, be the uh, tickler or the feedback for the system. So anyway, you guys didn't mean to talk too much, 21 minutes. I like the 15 second videos. Um, leave your comments on the, the private channel and um, keeping it real. Peace out.